This short informational video is meant to serve as a guide for adult children who have a parent with a diagnosis of Huntington's disease. Your parent's diagnosis of Huntington's may be the first time you've heard of the disease. So I'll start with some basic information about what the disease is, what symptoms you can expect, and some potential actions and support you may look into for yourself or your family members. Huntington's disease is a fatal progressive brain disorder that causes uncontrolled movements, emotional problems, and loss of cognition or thinking ability. It is caused by a mutation in a gene that leads to the breakdown of nerve cells in one's brain over time. Typically, symptoms begin to appear in one's 30s or 40s. You might expect involuntary jerking or twitching movements, known as chorea, difficulty reasoning, walking, speaking, and swallowing, personality changes such as mood swings, depression, forgetfulness, or impaired judgment, and significant weight loss. Unfortunately, there is no current treatment for Huntington's disease, although much research is being done. Most people typically survive 15 to 20 years after the onset of their symptoms, with most deaths being related to choking or an infection related to the disease. With your parents' diagnosis, you might wonder what your risk of developing the disease is. Unfortunately, there is a 50% chance that you could have the mutation that causes Huntington's disease, as it is an autosomal dominant gene. This means that only one copy of the HTT gene mutation is needed from one of your parents in order to cause this disease. The mutation for the disease causes an elongated repeat of coding on the HTT gene and is guaranteed to cause the disease in all people who have the mutation. If you are interested in knowing if you have the gene mutation for Huntington's disease, you can get genetic testing done. It is important to realize that getting tested is entirely your decision and you need to understand that this is a disease with no treatment, so results could cause many different emotions. Be sure to have support set up before getting tested to help you no matter what the results are. It is highly recommended that you do testing at a facility that has counseling and services available so that you have the proper support. Getting tested is chosen by many people so that they can plan for the future. However, there is no treatment or cure. If you find that you do have the Huntington disease gene mutation and you want to have children, there is also testing available prenatally. If you, are, if you are already pregnant and have the disease, you can get chorionic villus biopsy at 10 or 11 weeks or amniocentesis at 14 to 18 weeks to determine if your child will have the Huntington's disease gene mutation. If you are planning a family and are not already pregnant, IVF pregenetic testing can be done to determine if an embryo will have the mutation and doctors can help select an embryo without the mutation for implantation. If you are testing yourself and do not have the gene mutation, there is no need for genetic testing prenatally as you cannot pass it on to your children without the mutation yourself. When making the decision to get tested, it's important that you know that your employer cannot discriminate in the hiring process and that your health insurance eligibility and premiums may not increase. GINA, the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act, protects against the use of this information by employers and health insurance companies. This allows you to get this testing done without the risk to you financially. Whether you decided to get testing done is entirely your choice, but know that there is support available for you, your parents, and your family members, regardless of this decision. The Huntington's Disease Society of America has a nationwide network that can provide support and more information can be found on their website regarding their services and support groups. I hope that this video has helped as a first step in you understanding Huntington's disease and your options. Thank you for your time.